Why you don't do like that? Why you don't keep that thing from me? Why you don't do like that? Why you don't act like you don't know? Oh, baby, don't do like that. Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy. Why you don't do like that? Hi everyone, Jen here from Jenny and Teddy. In this tutorial, we are going to make the holiday poncho cardigan. This cardigan is so simple to make. They made just from two rectangles and the stitch that we use in this cardigan is called the herringbone double crochet stitch, which I have a separate video tutorial as well i will put the link in the description below for you but um when we making it i will show you how to do the herringbone double crochet stitch in this tutorial as well don't worry about it so let's get started What you will need to make in the holiday poncho cardigan is a crochet hook size, um, five millimeter crochet hook, and two color of the cotton yarn. I pick the green and the yellow. The green color will be the main color, and the yellow will be the the small strip. Um. holiday poncho cardigan with the 170 chain so we start with a slip knot and then chain 170 one two three four camera and meet you at the 170 chain um, I finished making the chain of 170 already then we will add three more chain one two and three and then we will skip a uh, three chain from the hook. Uh, skip one, two, three, and make the our first herringbone double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Yarn all. Insert your hook. Pull through. And now you have three loops on your hook. Uh, you use your thumb to fix the middle loop. And then pull through just one loop. And then yarn over. Pull through just one loop again. And yarn over. Pull through both loops. Now we finish our first herringbone double crochet already. We will do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. One, two, three. And use your thumb to fit the second loop. And pull through just one loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop again. And yarn over, pull through both loops. We finish our second herringbone double crochet already and we will keep continue doing herringbone double crochet until the end of the row I will go off the camera and meet you at the end now I am at the end of row one of the herringbone double crochet stitch in the last chain, I make a herringbone double crochet stitch and then we will chain 3 1, 2 and 3 turn your 
your work and then we will make a herringbone double crochet stitch in this stitch here yarn over pull through now you have three loops on your hook fix the second loop and then pull through just one loop grab the yarn pull through just one loop again grab the yarn pull through both loops here we have our herringbone double crochet stitch and then in the next stitch we're gonna make the herringbone double crochet stitch as well grab the yarn pull through fix the second loop pull through just one loop grab the yarn pull through just one loop and grab the yarn pull through both loops we will keep doing herringbone double crochet stitch in each stitch along the way. I will go off the camera and meet you at the end of row 2. Now I'm making the uh, herringbone in each stitch along on row 2. I am at the end. You will see the chain 3 from the previous row. We will make a herringbone double crochet. And then chain 3, 1, 1, 2, and 3. Turn your work. Row 2, I will show you the, the finished piece of the, of the rectangle. So the length of the rectangle, this length will be 55 inch and for this one will be about 9 inch and the main color is a uh, green color. It's about um, five inch, and the yellow one, the strip one. When you make until five inch already, you change color to be the yellow color about one inch, and then chain to be the green one about 1.5 inch and the yellow one is 1 inch and the last one is green color is about um, 2 inch for this part this one is fine in is perfect for the size from size small to I think probably XL but if you are um, if you want to make the bigger size like um, uh, 2XL 3XL or 4XL you can on on this one you can um, make it into like maybe 7 to 8 inch and then you add after you this one will be the bigger, bigger one. You can add, add more row to be bigger, and then you add um, yellow, green, yellow, and green. So we make um, two pieces of them. I'm gonna show you two pieces of them here. And we will um, do the assemble in the next one. 
Um, now I am finished the two pieces of the rectangle and then we will fold them in half like this and um, use the yarn needle here sewing um, the back here to create the poncho cardigan sewing the back and then after you sewing the back here along until at the top only back part the front part will not sewing and when you finish you will uh, leave the armhole here um, maybe 5 to 6 inch depend on on your arm size for me it's a five to six in and then this one we will sew on the side along here on both side here and now we finish the assemble for the body of the poncho cardigan then in the next one we are gonna add the sleeve I will show you when I finish um, sewing of this one. Hi there. Um, now I am finishing sewing the the back part here. It's made just from two rectangle, and then I sewing this side, both side. And leave for the armhole for about five to six inch. Now we are going to add a sleeve. This is gonna be a short sleeve, but I have tried it on this poncho cardigan already. It look beautiful as it is. So, so the sleeve will be the the option if you want to add the sleeve. I will show you how to add the sleeve for this one. But I will try it on and promise you this one is beautiful as it is if you don't add the sleep. So the next one we will gonna add the sleep. Hi now we are going to add the sleep just for the option if you like to have a little bit more length on the arm. So we join the yarn at any part of the armhole. But for me, I like to join at this part because I didn't use the marker. If you use the marker, you can join in any part. And we tuck the tail, yarn tail in. And basically, we just keep um, making single crochet around the armhole for just one round. Keep making single crochet in each space. Um, I will go off the camera and meet you when I finish the single crochet for one round. Now I am uh, finished single crochet for one round at the armhole already. And then I will chain two. One, two. And make double crochet in the same stitch here. We're gonna add uh, some easy less. And then chain one, skip one stitch, and then make double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch one stitch here and make double crochet in the next stitch then chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet 
in the next stitch we will keep um, continue doing this around here and I will go off the camera and meet you at the end here now I am at the end of a uh, last stitch row here the first row of red stitch and then in here we will make a double crochet here and chain one so you see the chain space here we will make a double crochet in each chain space And in chain one, double crochet in the next chain space, and then chain one, and double crochet in the next chain space. Um, we will continue keep doing this. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain space. I will go off the camera and meet you at the end of row two of the last row here now i am at the end of row two of the last this row at the end we make a double crochet and then chain one and make double crochet basically we repeat the row two uh, Row two of the last stitch round around the armhole as long as you like. Uh, I think I will make about uh, four more row to see and try it on if I like the length of the of the sleeve. I gonna make the short sleeve, but you can you can make it as long as you like uh, turn them to be a long sleeve if you like and change some color so I will go off the camera and repeat row 2 of the last stitch round and we show you okay hi so I finished um, do the last low stitch for the Sleep. I end up making about one, two, three, four, five, five row of the last stitch row. So if you want to make a longer sleeve, you just add more row. So that's all for. We finished for today for the the perfect poncho cardigan. I hope you guys like the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.